Yeah, this is just a quick video. Um, I'm part way through a little project of converting a Henglong Panzer IV <coughs> to a Jag Panzer IV using uh, an excellent conversion kit that I got from uh, Vandra Models. They're um, they're in Hungary, so uh, it's quite a straightforward process. You know, you uh, you email them uh, once you've uh, decided which model you've chosen from their uh, website. Um, Pay through PayPal, and then uh, lo and behold, then about two weeks later, it, uh, it turned up all nicely boxed and, uh, and packaged. So these are the, uh, the other little bits and pieces you get with it that we had to put on. But uh, of course, you can see the casemate. That's the the main item there, and the uh, the gun as well. Of course, you've got a you've got a metal rod going through here. Um, so I'll do a second part in a minute where I uh, sort of de deconstruct what I've done so far. Um, but yeah, it goes uh, goes together nicely. A um, couple little tips uh, while you're looking at the exterior here. They uh, they recommend that you use you know copper wire to um, to make these little loops along the top here. But uh, I found that this sort of garden wire, plastic covered stuff, is a lot easier to work with. Of course, you've got to drill the holes out and uh, cut a bit this bit of that. Of course, we've got to cut off all the um, all the section of the original hull right down here Oop. and across then the other side so you put in a bit of uh, fake fake weld in there um so yeah so that comes off with a with a dremel or a, or a hacksaw and then um, you just attach these bits with uh, with the old epoxy adhesive then so um yeah it's you know it's coming along okay the gun won't elevate uh, i haven't got the um the motor on that so it's just going to be back and forth and, uh, and the sounds and so on but um, that's a bit of a drawback with the uh, the original Panzer IV you're very restricted as to the uh, the space inside whereas uh, you'll see in the next video with this one there's plenty uh, plenty of room so you can add uh, bigger speakers and all the rest of it so uh, there we go anyway back to uh, to part two and I'll uh, do a quick strip down right now 